In this video, we're going to do example 2.3.2 about the relationship between a line and a plane. And then we're going to fill out a flow chart afterwards about the procedure we used. So let's review quickly the what we saw in a previous video, the possibilities for the position of lines and planes. Line can be parallel. The line and the plane can be parallel. The line can be contained in the plane and the line and the plane can be intersecting. And we saw that examining the dot product immediately identified one of these cases. If the dot product of the direction vector and the normal vector is non-zero, then the line and the plane are intersecting. If the direction vector and the normal vector dot to give zero, well then we have to go a little bit further. We have to examine what is happening with the point P on the line. If the line and the plane are parallel, then P will not satisfy the equation of the plane. And if the line is contained in the plane, well then P will satisfy the equation of the plane. So that gives us a bit of a procedure here, right? The first thing that we can do is examine the dot product. And if we need to do a follow-up, we'll examine what happens to the point P relative to the equation of the plane. So let's go and look at the example. We're given the line x is equal to 1 plus t, y is 3 plus t, and z is 2 plus 2t, two which means that we can see a point on the line 1, 3, 2, and we can examine or we can identify a direction vector, the coefficients of t, 1, 1, 2. And we see the, where the plane pi that we're given, x plus y minus z equals 2. So we can read the normal vector coefficients of the x, y, z, 1, 1, minus 1. So we're going to examine, first of all, the dot product of the normal vector and the direction vector. So d dot n. And that is going to give us so 1, 1 and 2 dotted with 1, 1, minus 1, which will be 1 plus 1 minus 2 gives us 0. So that has told us that either the line is parallel to the plane or the line is contained in the plane. And what we have to do is examine next the point P and see if it is contained in the plane or not. So we're going to test P in the equation for pi. So the equation for pi is x plus y minus z equals 2. We're going to look at uh, point P, which is the point 1, 3, 2, and plug that in. So 1 plus 3 minus 2, 4 minus 2 gives us 2. So indeed, the point P is in the plane. That means all the points are in the plane, which means that our line is contained, our line L is contained in our plane pi. So let's go and look here at a flow chart, a decision tree for what we just did. The first thing that we did was we checked the dot product is d dot n equals zero. We answered yes, which means that the line is parallel to or the line is contained in the plane. If we had answered no, we would have had our final answer for that situation. Right? The line would have been intersecting, intersecting the plane. Right? The dot product here, the d vector and the n vector are not perpendicular uh, in the intersecting case. So to go further in this case to distinguish between uh, parallel distinct or disjoint and the line being contained in the plane, we examined the point P. If the point P is 
in the plane. Well, that means the entire line must be in the plane, so the line is contained in the plane. And if the point P did not satisfy the equation of the plane, we would have said that the line is parallel to the plane.